Can you get HIV from saliva? Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, is a global health concern, with various modes of transmission, including sexual contact, sharing needles, mother-to-child transmission, blood transfusions, and occupational exposure. However, the question of whether HIV can be transmitted through saliva has been a topic of concern and confusion. This video aims to explore the potential transmission of HIV through saliva, examining scientific evidence, real-world risks, and effective prevention strategies. 1. Understanding HIV transmission. HIV is primarily transmitted through certain bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. While these fluids have been identified as carriers of the virus, the question arises, can saliva also transmit HIV? To answer this, we need to consider several factors that influence HIV transmission. 2. HIV in saliva. Saliva is one of the bodily fluids where HIV has been detected, but the concentration of the virus is much lower compared to blood, semen, or vaginal fluids. This lower concentration plays a crucial role in determining the likelihood of transmission. 3. Factors influencing HIV transmission. Several factors influence the potential transmission of HIV, including the viral load, presence of other infections, the existence of open wounds or sores, and the ability of the virus to survive or become inactivated in the environment. 4. Studies and research. Scientific studies have delved into the presence of HIV in saliva and the associated transmission risks. While some studies have detected the virus in saliva, the actual risk of transmission through activities like kissing or sharing utensils has been found to be minimal. 5. Real-world risks. Instances of potential transmission through saliva are rare. Epidemiological data on HIV transmission cases rarely attribute the spread of the virus to activities involving saliva. Despite the low risk, it is essential to be aware of potential situations and take precautionary measures. 6. Prevention and precautions. General HIV prevention methods, such as practicing safe sex, avoiding needle sharing, and getting tested regularly, apply universally. Specific precautions related to saliva involve being cautious if there are open wounds or sores in the mouth, although the risk remains minimal. Importantly, knowing one's HIV status and taking steps to reduce overall transmission risks are crucial aspects of prevention. 7. Myths and misconceptions. Common misconceptions regarding HIV transmission through saliva often lead to unnecessary fear and stigma. It is important to dispel these myths and provide accurate information to promote a better understanding of the virus and its transmission dynamics. In conclusion, while HIV has been detected in saliva, the actual risk of transmission through this bodily fluid is remarkably low. Understanding the factors that influence transmission, being aware of real-world risks, and adopting effective prevention strategies are crucial in dispelling myths and promoting informed decisions. By focusing on accurate information and education, we can contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of HIV and reduce the stigma associated with the virus.